Hello to all my makeup aficionados. So today I wanted to review for you the Gingerbread Spice Palette by Too Faced. It is a very lovely palette. I will swatch all the colors for you. So my skin tone is um, a neutral, borderline neutral, warm skin tone. Um, in Makeup Forever, I am a 305, Y305 to give you some reference. You'll see all my swatches. That's why I've like dug into all of these. But um, let's see. So let's just go through some of the colors. We have Powdered Sugar. It is a matte cream, really light cream color. Um, it's actually kind of looks like powdered sugar. Um, it comes off really faint on my skin, but um, I have lighter, lighter skin, I guess. It's a nice transition color for my lighter skinned people. So next we have Frostbite. It's a beautiful frosty cream color. Um, it, there is so much sparkle to it. It is just so dazzling. Next there's Sugar Daddy. It is a matte pink. Um, it's just a very wholesome pink. Um, I would say good for... Mm, you could almost even use it as blush. Next we have Spiked Eggnog. It's a shimmery beige color. Um, I, I like it. Frostbite is definitely has more glitter and sparkles. Spiked Eggnog is more of a shimmer. Um, and it just comes off like so smooth. Like it's just like butter. Next we have Looky at my cookie. Interesting name. It is a, a warmer, darker pink than Sugar Daddy. It's a little bit chalky, but um, I think if you blend it and work with it, you can work it into your skin. Next we have Figgy Pudding. It's this purple wine matte color and it is gorgeous as well. It would make a good crease color or um, winged color. <laughs> Gumdrop is a matte hot pink. It is gorgeous as well. It's kind of similar to the Bon Bon's palette pink. Spice is Nice is a pretty true orange. It's like a red orange, but it comes off more orangey than red, I'd say. And then next we have Hot Toddy. Hot Toddy is one of my favorites. I am wearing it right now. I'm wearing it on the inner corners. Um, and when you swatch it, it comes off as like a copper, but then when you look at it in like the shadow, it looks kind of magenta, and when you look at it in the light, it looks coppery, so I love that it's kind of like a, it's a color shifting shadow. And then we have Gingerbread, it's a, it's, it would be a good transition color if you're going for like a darker transition or if you have darker skin. Then next we have Oh Snap. It kind of reminds me of NARS's Orgasm um, blush, but it is a shimmery peach color. And then we have Reindeer Paws, which is this like really deep, deep mauve color. Um, I wouldn't quite say purple. It's does it's more towards the going towards brown than the purples, um, and it's slightly shimmery. It has a like a few flecks of shimmer in it. Warm and Toasty is Warm and Toasty is one of my favorites. It is super gold and it comes off just like it looks in the palette. Really gold. I can definitely see myself wearing that on like a on like the inner corners of my eye. Next we have Bake It Till You Make It. It is like a a warm burgundy shimmer. But as we get towards the left side of the palette, like the Bake It So You Make It, Gingerbread Latte, these kind of start to look the same. Like Spice Rum and Bake It So You Make It are really similar. Um, but anyways, this is Bake It So You Make It. It's, um, n it's not as buttery as I would like it to be, but um, I think you can work with it. It's, you'll have to build the coverage a little bit. And then next we have Gingerbread Latte. Makes a really good transition color, so right now I'm using it as a transition shade. And, um, it's, uh, I think in the original palette, it's pretty similar to, um, uh, milk chocolate. Um, I think that was it, don't quote me on that. But it makes a good transition color, it's matte, it's lighter, it's probably, for my skin, gingerbread latte and... 
powdered sugar would be the only ones that could kind of work for a transition for my skin tone. Next we have Ooh Burn. It's like a, a really shimmery grape color, but again, it's a little bit chalky. Like when you put it on, it doesn't it's not buttery when you when you do when I did the swatches. So I can tell that when I put them on, it's going to be uh, one of those ones that you have to build the pigmentation. And then next there is Spice of Life. It's like a gr it's like a brown green shimmer and it's also very um, flaky this one flakes off and I don't know if I would be using that one very often because it's I, I need colors that are gonna be more buttery than like flaky I don't want to try to deal with that <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that and then last but not least there is spiced rum and like I said spiced rum is really similar to bake it so you make it at least on my skin tones except spiced rum it's also very similar to spice of life where it is very flaky and another one of those that you have to you'll have to build um, for the pigmentation but overall it is a beautiful holiday palette um, it's a lot of fun I, I'm sad that it doesn't smell like I don't know if it's supposed to smell like gingerbread but I'm sad that it doesn't smell like the peach palette or the bonbons palette or the milk chocolate palettes the chocolate bar palettes because those are all delicious and um, just kind of like a fun a fun feature of the Too Faced series um, but overall I really like the um, frosted colors in this palette. The frosted colors are beautiful. Um, then the buttery, the more buttery shimmers are also great. Um, but Too Faced palettes, I'm a little bit partial. I love Too Faced palettes. I wouldn't probably use these colors. They're a little too flaky for me, but, um, overall I think I can do, I think this will be a decently versatile palette. I don't think I could do too many, like, clubbing looks or, like, darker looks. These, the, the darker colors aren't really pigmented so I would probably go with like a, a Huda Beauty, a Huda dark color because those are really pigmented. Um, but overall the gingerbread palette is really cute. It's, it'd be a fun holiday gift for somebody, maybe something that somebody might not buy themselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you guys saw kind of what the swatches look like in action. I know Sephora does their own swatches but um, you know nobody's skin color is exactly the same so I thought I'd put give you some idea of what the swatches look like on my skin type if you have a similar skin type might might work for you um but yeah the gingerbread palette is super cute so I would recommend definitely checking it out I don't know if you would necessarily buy it if it doesn't work for your skin tone but it's definitely a cute palette and a fun gift but yeah comment below and let me know if there's any other palettes you'd like to review or any other makeup products that you'd like to see I know uh, there's so many beauty vloggers out there, but I continually believe that there are not everyone has the same skin type So if anybody has similar skin type that this could help, you know Awesome Anyways, I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday season and take care. Bye